Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Have you guys ever wondered what it would be if your workplace was perfect, right? Nobody worrying about anybody else. Nobody talking smack about anybody else. Nobody staring at you all day. It would be a great workplace. However, the workplace is not like that. Everywhere that you work, there's always going to be somebody that is going to be hating on you. Or if you're that person, you're going to be hating on them. It is very common. And that is one thing that I just don't understand. We go to work to work to make a living. To You go to, you know, you're, you're doing your career. You're making a living, your day-to-day life. You're trying to take care of your family. And there's people that are just so, they are so messed up. They are... They, they live a sad life and they don't know what else to do but to go to work and do the same thing. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to deal with these clowns, how to deal with these people that just can't seem to live a happy life. So they take their problems to work and they try to make it your problem. I have... I This person that uh, works with me. I don't talk to him at all. And uh, this person is, is just unbelievable. I mean, you cannot do anything because this guy is constantly bitching all day. And we know that a lot of you go through the same thing. And you wonder, what the hell is wrong with that guy? Why doesn't he just shut his mouth? That's what we think. Because we just want to go to work, and sometimes we're just like, man, we're tired. You know, we're exhausted from the day before, and then this guy's just sitting there talking shit. And you just want to go over there and beat his ass, right? Throw something at him, or quit your job, or try to go find a new job. And that's that's one of the biggest reasons in in the job force that people leave. Not, I'm not going to say one of the bi- biggest, because I don't know what the statistics are. But it's one of the reasons why... People change their jobs, and I mean they're they're tired of the people they work with. It's just a shit show all the time, and I totally agree. I mean I've never worked at a place where it was you know it was amazing and oh there's always somebody there that just doesn't like somebody or hates his life or whatever it is, and he wants to ruin everybody else's day. So this person, you know, you might come in at. Your start time is 6, and you get there at 5.55, and you're late, right? And right away, they get the supervisor, and he was late. He showed up at 5.55. You need to be here an hour early, or you're late. That's the kind of guy that I'm talking about. The guy that shows up to work one hour early and expects everybody else to be there an hour early. It's like, dude, I am here 12 hours a day. I don't want to be here an hour early because I just want to get here and work and go home. If you don't have a life and you don't want to do anything and you have no nothing to do and you choose to come an hour early, that is you. You should keep your mouth shut and let everybody work in peace. But instead, people like that kind of person just ruin your day. You could be happy. Something, you know, you're you're just having a great day and this guy starts bitching and you're like, you got to be kidding me. How can I deal with this guy? What can I do? So I'm going to tell you, like I said, like I said earlier, I'm going to tell you how to deal with this, this type of people. First is you're never going to be able to change their minds. You're never going to be able to make their life better. No matter what you do, these people are so far gone and they're so sad and they want to make everybody's life miserable that you really can't do anything. It's not your job to go play psychologist and go over there and talk to him. What you're what you need to do as a person that just doesn't want to deal with these people is smile and say hi and walk away. Don't think of them. Just ignore them. We have to be able to be strong. I know that us as humans, we just want to fight back. And if you were 30 years younger, I would beat the shit out of you, old man, outside. But it's, you know, that's not the case. So what do you do is you ignore them. You ignore them. That's what I do. I ignore, I ignore the man. 
if I am, if we're walking and he's looking at me and then we're walking right by each other and I say, hey, good morning. I don't care if he says good morning and he goes, yeah, fucking guy. I don't care. I just say good morning and I keep moving. I don't give him, I don't give him a, an ounce of my time and I just walk away. And that pisses them off even more that they're, they're mad because you don't talk to them. You don't care about them. And you know what? It's not your job to care for them. It's not your job to talk to them. My job is I need to go to work and make a living and come home and not have to take his bullshit with me. There's a lot of people that take their work home and it might be bugging you. You go home and you're like, man, this guy's such an asshole. And I'm so sick of him. And, you know, you bring all that home and then all of a sudden you're fighting with your wife, you're fighting with your husband, you're fighting with your friends because this guy because you dislike this guy so much and you, we need to stop doing that we need to stop making them we need to like pretend like they don't exist think of your life think of what you think about what you have you have your family loving family you have you're you're doing whatever you can and your focus should be you and your family you know that's that should be your focus not some guy that's very unhappy or some girl that's very unhappy and she's hating on your hair or hating on your nails or whatever. Let those people be whatever they want to be. Ignore them. Say hi. Say good morning. Hey, have a good one. And walk away. And I'm sure that whenever I'm, I'm going home and I'm like, see you later. Have a good weekend. I'm sure it burns them inside. Ah, fucking guy. Ah, good morning. Have a good weekend. I am sure it gets to him when I say that. But you know what? I like it. I don't care if this person talks shit. I don't care if this person is constantly upset. I don't care if this guy wants to make, wants to say stupid comments. As long as he doesn't say them to me, in front of me, I am okay. Let them talk. Let them say whatever they want. Let them go do their rants. Let them get upset. You just need to live your life. People like that, you cannot fix. People like that are forever like that. And that's something that it's, Either they had a bad childhood or they had a bad marriage, bad relationship. They have bad kids. They have, they lost all their money. They gambled all their money. They were into drugs. They were in jail. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think that um, it defies you as a person of the stuff that you've been through in life. And uh, everybody goes through ups and downs. But that doesn't mean that if I have a bad day, I'm going to go knock on my neighbor's door and go tell him that he's an asshole. Because... Why? It's not his fault that I'm having a bad day. It's not somebody else's fault that I'm running late and I'm honking the and I'm honking the horn and I'm yelling at him, get out of the way, I'm late. It's not their fault. It's your fault if you're late. It's your fault if you're having a bad day. It's your fault if you lost all your money. Sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes things happen, but you have to stay positive. That doesn't give you the right to treat everybody like shit, especially the people that you see every day for hours and hours on end. That is my advice to everyone that works with people like that, negative people. Those people are constantly putting out negativity. It doesn't matter. It's, it's not even you. You have to remember that. It's not even you. You are not part of the problem. They are like that with everyone. They are like that at home. Typically, if they're like that at work, they are like that at home. The way they treat you is the way they treat people at home, the way they treat customers, the way they treat whoever at the restaurants. They treat people like shit. That's the type of people. They just don't change. That's why you don't have to let it affect you in any way. Just ignore them, move on, say good morning, say whatever you need to say. Just have a good one. Walk away. Walk away. Let them let them throw daggers at you with their eyes with their eyes and let them cuss you out under underneath their breath it's okay it's it's fine we need to be better we need to be better as people i know that i work with some people that uh you know there's just gets to them right and ah oh, this freaking guy and they just it ruins their whole day because they're constantly thinking about this guy this clown that's constantly there talking right just talking away then yeah even though sometimes you're like that guy just needs his ass kicked 